on count two of involuntary manslaughter in regards to Tate Muir. After nearly 11 hours of deliberations. We find the defendant guilty of involuntary manslaughter. A Michigan jury found 45-year-old Jennifer Crumbly guilty of involuntary manslaughter in connection with the 2021 mass shooting at Oxford High School that killed four students. The conviction setting a precedent in America as the very first time the parent of a school shooter has been found criminally liable for their child's actions. It was a, a long time coming, but it's definitely a, a step toward the accountability. Crumley was found guilty on all four counts of involuntary manslaughter, one count for each student killed by her son, Ethan. Seven others were also hurt in the attack, carried out by the then 15-year-old sophomore, who is now serving a life sentence. His parents accused of buying him the gun he used in that shooting. There's a lot of stuff that could have easily um, thwarted this whole um, this whole thing. It could have stopped men stopped very easily. Prosecutors argue Jennifer Crumley ignored her son's mental health issues despite outreach from his school about alarming behavior. Both parents were called to school on the day of the shooting to discuss a disturbing drawing Ethan had made but refused to remove him from class. Hours later, their son murdered four classmates. It is your choice to have a child and you cannot choose to not take care of your child. And Ethan's father, James Crumbly, was charged with the same four counts of manslaughter. His trial begins in March. Jennifer Crumbly will be sentenced in April. Bill Malugin, Fox News.